Hi everyone, Imran here with another video on how to update the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G to Android 13 One UI 5.0. Samsung has officially released the Android 13 update in Europe for model SMA536B and the rest of the model should get it by the end of this year. If your region is different, you need to wait for the OTA update, otherwise I will guide you on how to install it manually using Odin 3 the Samsung Flash tool. One UI has a new user interface design, it has an expanded color palette and a cleaner way to show notifications and a simpler settings menu. Samsung has improved all of its stock apps to add more features and a better UI design. The update also improves the phone's performance privacy and security. If you live in Europe, you can now install the Android 13 update on your smartphone by navigating to Settings, Software Update and tapping on the Download and Install button and it will download the update if it is available in your region. Normally, when a software update is available for your device, Samsung sends notification that a software update is available for your device you need to download it now just make sure your phone is connected to a wi-fi network now go to phone settings about phone tap on software update again on download and install now as you can see the update is available tap on download now it will download the update depending on your Wi-Fi network it can take up to 30 minutes and depending also depending on your update size so make sure you have a good Wi-Fi network now once it download the update it will give you to install the update now or you can also schedule the update so i will tap on install now now android system update is started so at this point your phone will reboot and it can take up to 10 minutes to install the update and optimize the apps for the first boot. successfully installed now if for some reason your phone is not getting OTA updates then follow these steps to download the firmware and then install it using Odin I will end the link is given in the description I will enter the model number and it will give you the download links for all the firmwares now here you can choose the Android version I will choose the Android 13 now you can also filter it by the bit version the bin also called binary so if your phone is running binary 4 then select the binary 4 and select your country and it will list the all files so I will choose the Android 13 one click on this one now here you can use the Google Drive to download also I can use the download on browser so normally I choose the download on browser while downloading the file please do not close the browser otherwise you have to start our the download file 
you also need Samsung Odin Flash tool. The link is given in the description. And you can download it from Google Drive. After downloading the files, please unzip them into a single folder. Let's turn off the phone first. Phone is powered up. Now is the phone is turned off. Now you need to hold the volume up and volume down keys together and at the same time connect your phone to PC. Now as you can see we are almost in download mode. So I will hit the volume up button to continue. Now phone is download mode. Now I will move to the PC and run Odin. Now we need to select all files. Okay, first we I will select the. Then the firmware folder BL for BL that is bootloader file. Okay, selected now. AP is the main firmware file. Now, at this point, Odin might get stuck on your PC, so you need to give it a few moments, a few minutes to load the file completely because it is around 5 GB file, so it can take a few minutes to load. Also, make sure Odin has recognized your device. As you can see, COM4 is showing on the PC. This is this mini phone is connected. Now it is almost unzipping the file, so it may take a few minutes. file and home underscore cac file now all files are selected now i just need to hit the start button to flash the firmware now this this process almost takes around five minutes so you need to have some patience Now at this point, it is almost completed. Odin will show you pass message and your phone will automatically reboot. After reboot, your phone will boot into recovery mode where it asks you to factory reset your phone. So using the volume up and volume down select the factory reset and power button to choose the option. As you can see I will do it now. Uh, 
volume down factory reset and power to select the option now your phone will reboot again and this time it will take around 5 minutes to completely it will optimize all the apps so it takes some time on the first boot rest it will be fine so please have some patience and give it some time Now as you can see your phone is now on the setup screen. You can set up your phone, connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can skip it and rest the phone is done. If you have found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.